What is going on everyone? Today we are going to change it up a little bit. We are actually going to be doing some in-store videoing and in-store shopping for budget overland items at Walmart. That's right. We're going to go inside and we're going to check it out. I'm going to be videoing throughout the aisles and seeing what I can find for you guys. Um, hopefully we don't get kicked out of this place. I have never videoed inside of a store like this, so I don't know what to expect. So stick around and bear with me guys. See what we can find. here I'm not gonna lie it's kind of weird filming inside of a store like this but we're gonna go over our first section of this video and that is our camp so stick around check it out all right guys obviously first thing you need is somewhere to sleep and some shelter you can see all these tents that they carry here different pricing obviously with different quality right here we have a four-person dome tent made by Ozark Trail it's your standard tent you know it comes with hoop and loop card organization media pockets e-port it's got the tent poles and straps might take you a little while to set up but it's somewhere comfy to sleep and that one's right at $39 for the four-person they have a ton of those and then this one's pretty sweet right here it's a two-person hiker tent this might be what i get it's not too big not too expensive either fifty dollars standard construction as well has a removable rain fly seven foot six by four foot six three foot six inches high it only weighs seven pounds. Pretty neat. Then they have a little bit of more higher grade tents. This is made by Coleman. It's a fast pitch. These are a uh, pop-up tent, more like the uh, gazelle style. It's pretty big too. Nine by 11 by four. Four person tent at $130. And here we have a Coleman Fast Pitch six person pop up tent with a screen room. That thing is actually pretty sweet. There's the specs on that 10 feet wide, nine feet by five feet. It's two Queen Air mattresses in there. And that one is $162. They have plenty of others. I mean, depending on your budget and what you like, and how quick and fast you want to get everything set up when you're out camping let's walk through them all let's move on to the next thing and it's going to be how we're going to sleep all right and here's a variety of sleeping bags that walmart carries something to keep you warm price ranges everywhere from Eleven dollars, fifty degree temperature to fifty dollars, twenty degree temperature. They have a great selection. Cool weather mummy bags. This eleven dollar one. We're in South Texas, so we don't ever use sleeping bags here, but this might be nice in our winter time. We don't get harsh winters here. And if you're somewhere, you know, more up north or where you get freezing temps and some snow, this might be a better design for you. It's a big and tall, 
20 degrees made by Coleman designed for ultimate comfort priced at $48 which is still not bad compared to the competitors and they have this one I guess this is a higher brand made by lumberjack $55 a little bit more expensive but it has a removable fleece blanket a breathable shell and a brushed I don't even know how to say that pond liner They even have hammocks. If you decide not to use a tent, hammocks are always a good way to go. Sleeping bag liners, camp pillows, reversible camp pillows. And those are $11.66. Sleeping bag liners, warming sleeping bag liner. $30. Then to put inside your tent, camping pads, folding sleeping pads, $28, $13 for the blue one, a little bit of a lower grade. Me personally, I prefer to put an air mattress or a cot inside my tent. So down below here, we have a uh, Coleman cot. The Coleman Ridgeline. It's got a nice little pad on it. It's pretty comfortable. And that's right at $81. There you have it. And here is another cot. Looks like a lower grade Ozark Trail. No padding, nothing. Just your basic cot. And that is coming right at $49. And here we have the air mattresses. Oh, got all the way from a $16 Queen Intex standard air mattress to the fancy lumberjack padded removable pumps with coils. $67 air mattress. We have an Intex cooling mattress, $79, which includes the pump. Lumberjack does include the pump and obviously these cheaper ones do not include any type of pump So let's go check out these pumps Most of these are 110 or 120. They do have a 12 volt right here, which is what I would take with me $14.84 plug in your cigarette lighter and you're good to go. It's not too bad Here's another $14 84 cents 12 volt DC air pump and this one's actually a little bit cheaper it's 1288 but that's a 120 you don't want that or you can go old school and do the uh, old pump for ten dollars and 88 cents I think I'd rather spend the extra five dollars and plug it into my cigarette lighter now Let's move on to uh, chairs and tables. So I personally keep these, two of these in the back of my rig at all times. They're made by Ozark Trail. Backpacking chairs. They fold down to a tiny little pack. Like I said, they fit in the palm of your hand dang near. $25 each, which is really not that expensive when you start getting into the uh, fancier ones, you know, like at REI or other stores. Then they have your standard folding chairs, your director's chairs, which are a little bit bigger. I personally like to pack light whenever I'm out overlanding. Um, those chairs are $11 each, 1088. I don't know if you can see that. And we have your folding chairs. This one's actually pretty cool. Has a bunch of camp patches on there. Stay wild, take a hike, mountain adventures. That chair is $39.98. That is pretty sweet. Check that out. And then we have a larger chair right here with cup holders, phone holders made out of 100% recycled equipment. 
and tariffs coming in right at $49.98. And uh, for tables, we have your standard lifetime table, five footer, foldable, doesn't have a price tag on it, go figure. But we can check it out online and see how much it is. And I personally use this table right here. This is made by Ozark Trail. It's an aluminum side table. I keep one of these in my rig. And this one, it's right at $35. So basically take it out. It's small, it's light, foldable. You can pack it in virtually anywhere in your rig. And you're good to go. And we have this larger Ozark Trail folding table. It's more of a picnic table style. And that one's at $55. Pretty nice. But I'll take that one. Let's move on to the next topic. This is my personal favorite topic, and that's food. My favorite thing about overlanding is going out, setting up camp, sitting down, drinking a cold beverage, and cooking a great meal. And obviously you need something to cook with. Um, they have a few different stoves here, all of them propane, except for this small one. It's pretty sweet. It's a single burner, runs off butane, made by Coleman. It's actually pretty nice, 7,650 BTUs. Coming in at $24.74. And this is the classic. I have ran one of these for years before I upgraded. Your Coleman 2 burner. 20,000 BTUs, $48. These things are bomb proof. They will last you forever and get you cooking. Here's a little bit of a cheaper option. It's made by Ozark Trail. Now, Ozark Trail actually does have some quality products. I, I like a lot of their stuff and I use a lot of their stuff. This one's a two burner camp stove, 10,000 BTU. So it's half the BTUs of the Coleman. And that's coming in at $34. Here's the upgraded Coleman camp grill and stove. This is another two burner. 20,000 BTUs, $99. And this one's a little bit fancier. You can see it has a kind of a stove top and then a griddle-like top. That one's really nice. And we have a variety of pots and pans, coffee makers. This is actually the stove that I started using small it's light folds up you can put it anywhere it's the coldman fold and go two burner works great 20,000 BTUs it runs off of the little green propane cylinders $64 all right a big part of overlanding is water storage you're gonna need to wash dishes you can wash yourself off and you need to stay hydrated. I keep one of these on my rig at all times. It's a basic water jug. It has a tap built into it. And this will hold seven gallons of water. It comes in at $9.44. It does take up a lot of room, but it is worth it to have. Here's a smaller option. This is a six gallon jerry can. plastic does not have a spout or anything like that so you're going to pour it those are nice to have take up less room and those come in at $16.94 here's some more things you can keep at camp first aid kits are always good to have I actually have this one Portable toilet. Made by Ozark Trail. 
has legs and folds up. $38.62. Me personally, I'd rather dig a hole somewhere. Collapsible buckets for washing your dishes. $10.14. You got your basic camp shower. This is one of the uh, solar showers that you hang up. Looks like it holds five gallons. Uh, it doesn't have a price on it, but it can't be too expensive. And smaller first aid kits, bite and sting kits, bleed stops, emergency blankets. And just in case you run out of water, they do have the uh, Sawyer Minis. These are great. Stick it in a river, stick it in a waterbed somewhere and filters the water so it makes it drinkable for you. They have plenty of paracord and rope. This always comes in handy and it's good to keep on your rig. Price ranges from $4, $6 to $10 for the 100 foot. $8.88 for the 50 foot. All right, now let's move on to uh, storage. All right, we found them. Here they are. Eight gallon action packers. $30. And these things are tough. This is definitely what I would go with if I was on a budget. Looking to store my things. And they have a uh, larger option as well. This one looks like it is that same brand Rubbermaid Action Packer. That is a 24 gallon, good size. Lots of storage. These things are built right and they are fully lockable as you can see when you put the lid on them you can lock those down and those are $29.88 here they have a uh, folding cargo carrier that connects to your tow hitch it's in your standard inch and a quarter and two inch receivers can hold up to 500 pounds there's a picture of it it's pretty nice and that is only ninety dollars there's a picture of it how it folds up that actually is pretty nice to have how you have more room in your rig they even have storm proof roof cargo bag you can store things in there, strap to the top of your vehicle, keep everything dry if it rains. This one is 40 inches by 36 inches, and it's 21 inches tall. And that is actually pretty expensive. It's coming in at $124. Uh, here's a smaller option. It's actually pretty nice. It's a 15 cubic foot soft-sided rooftop cargo bag 38 by 38 18 inches high weatherproof looks like it has some heavy duty straps on top to keep it tight that one comes in at 59 dollars there are actually some great options if you don't have the storage in your rig to throw it up on top you have some kind of roof rack or luggage rack and there you have it that's about it for storage Let's move on to uh, our vehicle and recovery. I found their selection of uh, off-road lights. So here we have a 22 inch LED light bar. It actually looks pretty decently made. It does not come with any wiring. It's completely wireless wireless remote control instant on and off and that thing strobes dims and illuminates and it comes in at 88 dollars 
here is a 30 inch light bar at 5,000 lumens for $108 and that comes with some kind of wireless remote as well. Then we have your fog style lights, your round lights, nine inch LED work lights for $22. This looks like a decent light. Spotfire LED lights. This is a kind of a, a ditch light style. Oh, that is pretty bright. Those are actually uh, pretty nice. That comes in at $33. And these right here are pretty sweet. These are the smaller ditch light styles. And those are 600 lumens, two LEDs. Those are $27. And you have your light kits, $22, universal mounts, $14, and then a variety of uh, LED lights for the interior of your car, if you want to put some sticker lights on the outside of your car. Not bad, not bad for lighting here at Walmart, that's for sure. Here is a couple of uh, toe straps. Um, a 30 foot toe strap, uh, 4,000 pound, a, a 20 foot, 6,300 pound, and a 14 foot toe rope, 2,200 pounds. Um, seems like the uh, 20 foot, 6,300 pound recovery strap would be a better option for us. That comes in right at $19.40. And they also have chains. You know, regular straps for strapping down equipment and stuff, but I'm not a fan of using chains. I prefer the uh, recovery straps. Fuel. Here we have a variety of gas cans. These big five gallon cans, um, I don't know if I'll go with one of these. They're a little bulky, and um, I just don't think that I would want one on my rig or inside of my rig at that. They're $23, uh, hold five gallons of fuel. If it were me, I would probably go with a smaller one. Uh, this is two gallons for $18.98. And I think two gallons is plenty of fuel to get you out of a situation, most situations at least. And you have your smaller one gallon ones. Uh, that's kind of pointless. So I think the two gallon would be the way to go. Um, here's their selection of jacks. They do not have uh, any type of high lift or off-road jack, but they do have a decent six-ton hydraulic bobble jack right here. Uh, you can get away with those sometimes when you're on the trails. Um, this thing is $35, and it's a six-ton, which is pretty strong. Lifts up to almost 16 inches, which is not bad. It's about your only option when you're here. All right, guys, we're out of there. We made it out alive. Uh, we got some good footage for you guys. A lot of good items inside Walmart, surprisingly. Some quality stuff. And it was kind of weird filming in there, I'm not gonna lie. This was my first time ever filming inside of a store like that. Sitting there, talking to myself, people walking by me. Kind of weirded me out. But we got some good things for you. And I hope this motivates you guys to go buy some stuff and get out camping yourselves. Peace.